What's up internet? This is my 2023 update on my multi-monitor setup. And I swear that this video's point isn't just to talk about the magnificent ROG PG48UQ, OLED 48 inches, 165Hz or so, I think refresh rate. Although that is the main difference for this year's setup. I've used four monitors for a couple of years, but my primary one for a long time was a BenQ 27-incher 2K 144Hz. So very decent. Again, it was a whole saga how I fell in love with the RG PG48 UQ. You can look at it in the other videos. But this is gonna be strictly productivity, guys. For real. Although, I do have to admit that this monitor allows me to buy Windows keys in stunning detail. And of course, you know where this is going. We're gonna be hearing about our sponsor, CD Key. For those of you who don't know, we also use CD Key for, like, it's so huge. I have to pan out so that you can see the monitor. We do use CD key for the shop quite extensively and we've bought hundreds of keys from these guys. So when we say it's recommended, we're putting our money where our mouth is because we kami ginagamit namin on a very regular basis. So we already have an account, so we just need to sign in. We use them to buy Windows keys, Windows 10 and Windows 11. The, the links are already available dito sa homepage nila, but you can also find them in the video description below. Let's say you need to get Win 10 Pro. Just click on it. Buy now. Again, you do need an account, but it's very easy to set up if you have any kind of e-commerce account. Sanay na sanay ka na dito. And here we are at the cart. I've added to cart. The most important thing you need to do is to make sure you put in our code HS20. 20 is 2020 when we signed up with them. So three years na kami na with CD key. These are fly by night. They're a legit quality operation that we use all the time. HS20, and you click apply. And you notice you get a hefty discount. It's like a 20% or so, I think. So here, from 2221, naging 16.66 You submit order. And there are various modes to pay. Actually, kami naka PayPal na kami. So, para naka auto set na yung PayPal namin to allow payments for CD key. Iba iba yung options. Once you click pay now, you will be able to find the key that you ordered in your account profile. Just copy that key, go to Windows Activator, paste it, and your Windows is activated. Good to go. And aside from buying very reputable Windows keys from our sponsor, what do I really need four monitors for? I'm glad you asked, let me show you. It's all about siloing or using each monitor as a separate silo or container for the information that you need para consistent sila. Monitor up here on the left, it's usually set to hardware sugar because kapag may nagtatanong for inquiries, I use our PC Builder. Yeah, just click that link, PC Builder. Here's the URL, PC Builder. Sa mga nagtatanong, sir, magkano ba yung build na to from you guys? Do you have these parts? We also use our PC builder, so it's super easy to use. Uh, you just click the CPU, click the MOBO, and things like that. And then you'll notice, no malabas na yung total dito sa right hand side. Tapos madali lang siya i copy and paste. Copy to clipboard, send to us, and say na, hey, this is the build that we want. So I need this up all the time because we do get a lot of inquiries, and it's a real pain in the ass to have to do it manually. If you're buying single parts, you can go through our site. And again, this is also why I have it tabbed and you can go through the various categories. You'll notice also I have emojis tab because I use them quite a lot actually when chatting and making posts for the channel. Yung all about information silos. Kung kailangan ko na emoji, alam ko na hindi siya dito sa primary, pero dito siya sa upper left monitor ko. And you'll notice I do watch crypto or I do follow crypto. Bitcoin is actually quite high now. <laughs> I might do a future episode of Crypto Watch. I do use Coin Codex for that. Again, palaging naka-open to. Kahit yung browser ko, 
yung browser ko na Brave, this guy is always open in this guy. So it's all about keeping the information on one monitor. The PG48UQ, of course, is my primary monitor and my primary surfing gets done here, answering emails, jumping into Facebook when I need to post, and YouTube, my gaming gets done here. So this is the one that I'm directly facing. Again, this won't be a love letter to the PG48UQ, but the text is so crisp and when you game, it's really an immersive experience. 4K. Here, we have one in a vertical mount position. And this one is for all of my chats, my Slack, my Viber, my WhatsApp. Everything chat-related happens through here. Slack is how I communicate with the guys in the shop as well as the other employees who aren't there. Let's say we have an employee asking, Sir, somebody wants this build. So I can quickly go back to my left-hand monitor and do the PC builder and then check up if that build is really available. I need to pay the supplier. So I have the supplier's information here on the right-hand side in the vertical format. And then I'm paying him through BPI, for example, on my primary monitor. So with the vertical layout, it's super easy to use it for chat messages since Chat by its nature lends itself well to that format, yung parang scroll down to see the latest message kind of thing. And lastly, this is an old TV I had. So it's a LED 55 inches ata na LG. Sobrang duma na nito. It's 10, 12 years old. And it's very clear. Kita mo yung pixel there, that circle, that circle, that circle. Those aren't pixels. Those are individual points in the monitor, in the TV na bibigay na. But Super useful for me, since I don't use it for watching, I don't use it for gaming, it's really just an information display. So okay lang na ganito siya. For this one, I usually have a bunch of hardware sugar tabs. So this is my Sheet Prime. We have a lot of information stored here. Hardware sugar scratch because I'm not good with math and I need my Excel things. 2023, this is uh, all of the purchases that we do. Because we do track purchases quite religiously and that allows us the kind of data that we did in the warranty video which we released last month. Hardware Sugar discounted. This is uh, public facing. You can see this here. Hardware Sugar to follow up. When we do have custom orders and they're asking magkano ba yung items, paulit-ulit lang kasi yun for a lot of the items. So we have a tab listing down like, okay, we don't have these in store but if we got them, this would be the price. Dealer price list, that's classified, can't go there. Lee and Lee, deep cool, all from the same dealer. And this is the channel dashboard. I also have our YouTube info up at all times, just so I can see us slowly crawling to 100K. This 55 incher is just for two things, hardware sugar info and YouTube info. And if we zoom all out, that is my setup for 2023. Upper left-hand monitor for Hardware Sugar website, primary monitor for primary things, right-hand vertical monitor for chat, and fourth monitor TV on the right for Hardware Sugar data and Hardware Sugar YouTube analytics. So that's what four monitors might be good for for you. And again, of course, you don't have the same use case, work case as me. But a lot of people these days do need to juggle a lot of information. Kung so jante ka kung nagtatrabaho ka sa call center kung personal assistant ka na digital if you're running your own Airbnb or if you're working for a bank lawyer kahit anong profession ngayon you're dealing with so much information and that monitor allows you to segregate nga that information para alam mo san hanapin when you need to masabilis na yung workflow mo and it's actually quite easy to set up a multi monitor setup most of the monitors nowadays are VESA VESA just means that here in the back of the monitor, there you go, you can attach a clamp or a third-party clamp, which is also VESA compatible. That's what I've done here with my left-hand monitor na ASUS. This arm from North Bayou is VESA compatible. The ASUS monitor is also VESA compatible. And that allows you to be sure na gagana compatible yung monitor na yun with whatever arm you buy. VESA compatible is the industry standard. So if you want an arm like this, just make sure nga na VESA compatible yung monitor and VESA compatible yung arm. And you'll notice I had to be creative because a lot of the ways to have multiple monitors is you clamp it here. May clamp ka, parang ganito. Clamp. And it clamps to the side of your desk like this. Yung problema, yung desk ko dito sa bahay, 
gawa na siya kumbaga parang sinalpak na lang dito walang edges the only possible edges are here but you can't get a clamp here number one and number two you can't have a clamp and then you're working here and then you're turning here the angle just won't work you won't get the proper angle for the monitor yung karaniwan kasi yung clamp na sa likod nandito let's say for example sa likod pero yung nga solid na to eh di ko magawa dito sa setup ko but I improvised I got a ledge this one, and then I secured it sa ilalim and sa ilalim. And so now that's a ledge where you can clamp a monitor arm on. You'll notice actually na medyo bumibigay na yung ledge, <laughs> pero okay pa naman. It's been like that for a couple of years now. So far, it hasn't given way. There is a slight angle to it already. Pero, you know, it's still working, it's still good. And it allows me to have this upper left monitor. So when going for a multi-monitor setup and you're trying to figure out paano mo ipabagkasya sa desk, you can stuff everything on your desk, like what I've done for the PG48UQ, for the vertical ViewSonic monitor, and for the old TV. But another way to do it is to use these kind of monitor arm clamps, which actually I would do kung kaya nung desk ko, which it can't at the moment, unfortunately. Another thing you'll need for hardware is the GPU. So I do have a 3080 for gaming and for video editing and things like that. But for multi-monitors, you don't need an expensive GPU. All you need is a GPU with multiple display ports. And I don't mean the actual display port. I just mean the ports of the GPU that you plug into. It can be HDMI, it can be display port, it can be even DVI for older GPUs. You can get older cards which will have multiple ports for display. This one has four. That's pretty standard for high-end cards now. 3DP, one HDMI. But again, you don't need to buy something like a 3080 to have a multi-monitor setup. You can get something like the GT730, where actually hindi habol mo yung performance. Yung habol mo yung multiple ports dito sa likod ng card, which will allow you to plug in multiple monitors to your rig. Just make sure that your monitor is compatible with the GPU. So kung HDMI to, kailangan at least may isang HDMI dito sa GPU mo. The more monitors you add, sakit yun sa ulo. Trying to figure out like, oh goodness, I have a mini DP and I have two DPs and I have one HDMI but my GPU only has three DPs and one HDMI. It's a real pain in the butt. And yes, there are converters like this one which I'm using here. I think this is for my TV. So you don't really need the refresh rate and things like that. This is actually HDMI to display port. I don't really like using adapters. You know, a lot of things could go wrong. Pero if it's just for basic things like showing information, an adapter is fine. So you don't need to go super expensive. Yun nga, pwede ka bumili ng second-hand GPU. Di mo habol yung performance GPU. So any GPU na okay yung ports will do. And even for multiple monitors, you don't need to get very expensive. Ito nga, 11-year-old TV, ginagamit ko ngayon as an extra monitor. Itong ViewSonic ko na to is really old. I think maybe even older than the LG TV. Sobrang dumana nito. It was a gaming monitor before, but I've since upgraded, but I'm still using it every day. Ganun na si Asus. Although the Asus one, this one I really got as a secondary monitor. But again, that was years ago. So as we mentioned in our previous video, there are some items like monitors na talagang sobrang tagal nung lifespan nila. And you can keep using them and using them. Investment sila. Sulit sila. You can get cheap secondhand or you can get a little pricey pero at least alam mo na tatagal yung mga yun. So that is my setup for 2023. Multiple monitors. Again, di mo kailangan mahal. Hindi kailangan na the best of the best, the state of the art. Pero bottom line, sobrang useful nila. And I have updated my layout for this year <laughs> with a new 48-inch from ROG. If you're just starting out first with one monitor, you haven't tried yet secondary monitor, I really do recommend it. Sobrang laking quality of life improvement niya. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. 
Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.